We are in Fullcraft today for a new tutorial. It was suggested in the comments of a recent uh, Fullcraft video that I do a tutorial on the item conduits and using filters. And so I thought I would do that. So in here I've got some of the items that you would use. Uh, chests, you know, where you put items or where you have items going through. The conduits and the filters, those are the big things. And I just have some items here that we can use. What I'm going to set up first is going to be just a basic system, okay? No filters, no nothing, and we'll have some eggs that we can pass back and forth, okay? So here we go. I'm going to put a chest down here. I'm going to put a chest over here, okay? Now consider this is the input chest and this is the output chest. What you want to do is you have your item conduit. Now you place the item conduit and you can see it automatically connects up. Now I'm not sure if you can see it here, but there's a little green arrow on all the sides of this little uh, square point and it's pointing outwards, okay? And what that means is, is that that thing is on extract mode, which means it's extracting from the chest, from this chest, it's extracting. Okay, now there's different modes. You can have it extract, you can have it insert, and if you look now the arrow is pointing inward. You can have it disable, which means it's not connected to the chest at all. Okay, we're gonna, ah, man, that's bad. Okay, I'm in a different mode. I don't have a way to just break it, so I'll have to do this in a second. Let me go over here and do it, okay. So we have insert mode, you have disabled, and then you have in and out, which can go either way, and you can see it's got two arrows, okay? If that makes any sense. Now I need to break this. Let me do that over here. Okay, so when you make the line all the way across here, you can see this one says extract, and this one says in and out. I'm gonna put that as insert, okay? So now items should flow across this line over to here. Let's put it in the eggs. And you should think it would be right here, but it's not. It's not there, and that is because the second option here is what mode it is. And right now it says rest on mode is never active, which means it's not working at all, okay? So what you can do is you hit this so it's always active. You can see it looks like that. It says always active. And it means it's always active. We'll pull anything it can out of the chest into here, and there's where the eggs have gone, okay? So there we go, we'll do that again. And there come all the eggs. Does that make sense? The next thing I'm talking about is channels. And if you notice, the color of this arrow is green, and this arrow is green. Okay, so if we go into back into this section here, you can see this channel. Consider this to be like the wire that it's going down, okay? Right now it's the green wire, but what happens if we say brown? Okay, so this says I will extract along the brown wire. So now if we put the eggs in here, remember it's always active on brown, it's trying to pull out. But there's nothing over here that's brown that will receive it. It's a green channel. So if you change this to brown as well, now it's receiving brown, and here come the eggs. So the channel lets you basically use the same conduits, but you can make it do different purposes. So you can kind of use the same plumbing, but still have different inputs and outputs. The next thing I want to talk about is the filters. There are these item filters right here. Basic item filter. Now when you put Right click on here and you can see there's these mode, these little boxes here. If you put a filter on there, it open up, opens up this little window. These are item slots. You, these are where you put your examples of items. And then you have a button here, whitelist or blacklist. And what that means, what is whitelist and blacklist? Whitelist means this item is acceptable to go through or be used by this whatever's going on, in this case extract. Blacklist means do not let this item go through. Okay, so right now everything's available to go through, but when we put a filter on, we have nothing whitelisted and we have nothing blacklisted. So I'm actually not sure what this will do. See, everything goes through because we have not specifically told it not to, okay? So now let me go in here into this filter and let's say we want uh, eggs, right? We put an example of an egg in there. Eggs are whitelisted. So now if we put the eggs in, you can see the eggs go through, but the Feathers are not. And that's because they're not in the white list. Okay? So you can see there's the eggs over there again. Now if we add in here as an example, let's go get the feathers back out. If we add the feathers to the white list, right? Now we have eggs and feathers are whitelisted. And there they go. Okay? So let's say we want to sort on the other side. We've got this ability to say, hey, we want those things to go through, but we want them to be sorted over here. Well, let's get another chest. Oh, I got it on me. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put a chest right over here. Okay, we're going to hook this item conduit up. I'll just break it right here. 
Now, you notice that this is on the brown channel. So I want this to be on the brown channel. I want to insert into this chest. And I'm gonna say on this filter, I want to allow, uh, let's see. I want to allow, only allow feathers. And on this one, I only want to allow eggs, okay? So now, there, the feathers and eggs should be pulled out of this chest, perfectly fine. You can see there they go. And they're coming through, but this one is eggs only, so the feathers can't go through, so they'll go through this pipe. The uh, feathers, I mean, the, uh, what, the other way around is eggs can't go in here, but they can go in here. So if this is all empty, you can see that the in the chest, we have all the eggs and all the feathers. So that's how you kind of filter things out. Now let's look at the blacklist really quick. I've taken the filters out of these so you know. So what we want to say is, hey, when it comes through this pipe, we want to whitelist. Let's say eggs have to go in here, okay? We can see there's that we already had this one made up, whitelisting of eggs. Now what if instead we say, instead of whitelisting, we say, hey, we do not want, like for instance, we don't want uh, manure. That's what I was trying to do here. Let's see. No manure in this one. We don't care what it is, but we want no manure here. Okay, do not allow manure to come in. And so as you can see here, the items will go through. Now, where do they go? So that's the question, is you don't know where they're going to go because it could go to either one of these things. So I would be surprised if this would be some, I would not be surprised if it splits up the eggs and the feathers. But see, it worked very well. Where did the manure go? Manure didn't go anywhere. And that's because this one here, if I can go into the thing, it's set to insert mode, but it didn't pull it out. And it didn't pull it out because I have this filter here. Let me take the filter out. The manure is going to just take off now. But it's not going to go here. It can't go here, but it has to go out. It has to go somewhere, so it goes into here. Does that make sense a little bit more about what filters do and how you work with filters and item conduits? Fluid conduits are basically the same thing. You right-click on this area, you get the various controls. Now, you can make different signals, and you can make round robin. Round robin means um, go like for, for one filter, one side, one side, one side, and repeat the circuit for the same channel. Um, that's rarely used, so you know whatever you, you want to do with that. But uh, this works very well. Now, you can also get various upgrades for speed as far as um, – yeah, I'm professional. So um, anyway, yes, uh, you can add upgrades for speed and that sort of thing to make it pull out the items faster, do stacks, that sort of thing. But the basics of it is what, setting your mode, making sure you have your channel, making sure it's active, and then setting up the filter. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I hope you are able to do more with your uh, conduits now and that sort of thing inside of Fullcraft. So if you like this video, please click the like button if you have any comments. Put them in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Was there anything else I could have addressed in this? And uh, if you uh, like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. I'm always looking for more subscribers, so please, hey, let everybody else know and all your friends about Tinker77. So again, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.